in today's video. Shall we continue to push back the Antigonids and the Athenians here in the north and finally rasp and grasp some control of this land for the first time? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum, episode 13, I believe. So, hopefully, not unlucky episode number 13. A couple of things I've got to say though, first, before we get fully into the video. A very Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you're having a great time during the holiday season and if you don't celebrate christmas wherever you are from then i hope you have a great december and new year as well secondly guys i have been very negative about the phalangitis this campaign haven't i <laughs> And I do apologize for that. I was watching some of my old videos back as well, and there was so much more positivity back then. There was moments of salt, but the whole thing wasn't salty, and I am very sorry about that. I had a very stressful couple of months recently, and I think that has come over in the videos, so hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better. Hopefully we can be a bit more positive, and I am going to try and improve my gameplay with the Phalangites as well, but we will talk about that when we get into a battle but that will be very soon in fact so let's get into this battle here where we have a lot of phalangites so a lot of chance to try and improve so let's go after captain philotas over here they don't have that much in that army and in this army just three units of thurioforoi ideally with this sort of battle we want to try and preserve as much of this army as possible because it has just come from retraining and at the moment because Pella is you know um, <laughs> infected by the plague um, we would really like to not have to uh, you know retrain in there <laughs> because it's going to be death for all of us so let's get into the battle then guys and let's see how we do Something appalling! Something for everyone in what I must now say. We will win! Many of us may die, but mm? all of well. us <laughs> will be brave! Oh, I like this. This is quite ambient. Very good. Good speech, my friends. So, let's talk a little bit about the Phalangites. And I think my main issue has been expecting the Deuteroi to do too much. Like, the Deuteroi are so bad, and thank you to the commenter from Greece who commented about the Deuteroi being a slang word still to this day as, like, secondary or the seconds or something like that. Basically, they are, like, they're not very good. <laughs> they're pretty crap, and till this day, they are still used as a slang word in Greece. For something that isn't uh, that good. So, uh, yeah, I think that's my main issue. Originally has been expecting the Deuteroi to do better than they really should. Because they are not there to be a fantastic unit. They are there just to be sort of the militia hoplites. Secondly, I have been placing my phalangites way too long. To get the full sort of formation, we want to be at least four deep, pretty much. You can see we're about six deep there. So I need to have them in a thicker formation, and I need to kind of build my um, attacks around them rather than trying to get them to flank and all that sort of thing because they just don't really do very well at that. Problem being, a lot of the time, trying to get the AI to actually attack your phalangites is incredibly, incredibly difficult. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. But we are going to try this formation for this battle. And let's see if I can actually do well for once with the old phalangites. We're just going to walk because I do want that other army to come in. Because I want to kill them all. I'm going to try and get Agathocles over here too. He can run, unlike everyone else. But I'll see you when we have engaged the enemy. And let's see whether we can make this work for once. Well, they decided to run away. I thought that might happen, but thank you, Antigonids, for wasting all of our time. I'll still keep this in because, of course, we were talking about the Phalangites and how to use them. 
effect more effectively anyway. And and I want to thank A Howl for his um, input on that as well, letting me know where I am very specifically going wrong. <laughs> but let's end the battle there, guys, and I'll see you back on the campaign map. And a glorious victory, as you can see. So how long until this? Okay, so we do have time to deal with that. So we are going to pop onto the river crossing there. That's also a good defensive position for us, nonetheless. We've got nothing else. Oh, we do have a Kilos here. I think we will go for this battle. Now, I did want to have a look at Akilos' stats because he isn't a very good general. He's uncharismatic and spiritless, so I do really think we need to swap him out. For now, he has to be part of this. He has plus one morale there, but he's got minus one overall, which is not actually terrible. And a runner is quite good, too. He's a mere populist, though. Uh, which is, that's the minus morale. So yeah, we are going to swap him out for someone who's a bit better. And I probably will do that in between turns and have a look around for a new general. Even if it's uh, uh, I, a, um, I can't speak, guys. I can't speak. Even if it's an adoption. There we <laughs> Why did it find me? take me so long to think of that word? But anyway, let's get into the battle here, guys. Well, the armies are pretty spread out, so I'm going to send up my whole infantry force over this way to deal with them to start with. I'm going to send my generals straight in. As long as they fire at the Prodromoi, it really doesn't matter to me. So we're going to go for the charge in there as well, because this is simply just Greek slingers. So even Prodromoi should have an easy time against these guys, as you can see. And there goes the general straight into the archers. Pretty darn good charge, but let's get out now with these boys. They shouldn't be able to... Ah, they, go, they are routing. That's not ideal. Problem is, we don't really have anything that can actually chase them down or do anything. What I want to do, though, is actually charge two at the same time. I'm going to rally that Prodromoi to see whether we can do some damage to them, too. And I'm hoping that Thurio 4 unit does not run away. We're going to go for the charge in here. And we're going to carry on with the charge there, too. General is a bit at the front right now, so that's not ideal. But Akilos, as we've said, is not the best general. So really, him dying should not really be uh, something that we need to worry about too much. Here comes the Thurio 4 right? We're going to go straight in there with them. We're going to get these guys to try and engage them properly <laughs> for once. Uh, those guys are gone. You guys need to go and kill them now. In fact, you... You just deal with them. You guys go and chase the other guys down. You guys get your phalanxes down now. And we're going to attack them and try and surround this unit here. Those guys can get engaged in the combat. Get a war cry off as well. It'd be great. But it looks like we may they may escape our judgment here, unfortunately. I was hoping we could do a nice draw-out battle. I've got no problem with this 304. I will probably do a good job on them. But everyone else looks like they're going to escape. Oh dear. Oh dear. Not quite the result we were hoping for. Not quite. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Well, anyway, we'll bring these guys across and it should be a nice, easy victory. Well, at least Akilos has a victory or two under his belt now, I guess. So uh, we'll see you back on that campaign map, guys. And uh, now, unfortunately, of course, Akilos is trapped in here. Cannot escape. There are some Celtic skirmishers. I've not got high hopes for them after the uh, the, the performance of our previous Celtic boyos. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we've got that army. And, of course, we have the army down south sieging down. So let's have a look at what we want to build now. And Barak is building the foundry. Farsalos is already building. You're building the third level of recruitment. How about Larissa? Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm also considering, guys, renaming Pella as Noxos Alexandria. New Alexandria, because Alexander has been an absolute legend in this campaign, hasn't he? He has been absolutely insane when it comes to conquering. I think we can also probably go around and have a look at all of our settlements here. And I think it's a good time, because... A lot of you enjoy when I show some of the campaign management. And if you don't enjoy that, that's absolutely fine, guys. You can uh, skip ahead. But we're going to show a little bit of campaign management now. I'm going to go around all of the cities and just adjust all of the tax rates 
to what they should be. We can accept 70. There is a chance they will revolt at 70, but it's a very low chance. And we're also going to have a look at the population growth too. I want them all to be growing, even if um, it's only half a percent. So yeah, we can't quite afford to put anywhere up, it looks like, at this moment in time. In fact, we might have to put Igenion down. I'm not too bothered about that, though. That should be fine. Igenion, when we first took it, was a tiny little town. Ayana as well. I'm going to take that extra half a percent growth for the normal rather than the low, just so it's on normal. Because when you go... So normal is the average, guys. Low is like... I can't remember exactly. Let's have a look. I think it's like 20% less or something like that. Let's have a look. Where's the taxes there? 600... And then 752, so 150 difference. So, yeah, it's, I think, yeah, it's exactly 20% less for low. And then high, I think, is 15. And then very high is something like 30 or 40. It's quite a significant amount more. So normal is good to have on there nonetheless. That was Argos Aresticom. Pelion. Let's not go up to very high for many places just because of that massive debuff to a lot of the stuff that we want. Baroya can now go up and we're going to keep it on low so that it grows. That is the decision we're making there, guys. What the hell? Where did that disappear to? We were on... Where were we on? We were on Baroya, were we? Yeah, I think so. We've just done Baroya. Pella, we're going to leave that for now because... Yeah, it's, it's not very good. <laughs> a lot of people have died in Pella, unfortunately. We're going to put Bakiria up one. Odessa Botticia. Let's go up. Let's leave on low for that population growth. Acanthos, we are going to go uh, just up slightly. Cassandre is under siege, so we can actually afford to go on to very high. It's not going to rebel. And Oinidai is insanely unhappy right now. Hmm. But they, it is under siege, so it doesn't really matter. Burger over here. We're going to keep that on low. And we're also going to go up to medium for Dasoreto Polis. And I did just see that Burger has a, full, a port available. 400 gold. Yeah, ports, guys, in this patch are insanely, insanely powerful. So getting them is something that you want to do ASAP when you are in there. So, I think we've had a look at all of our recruitment hubs, like Larissa. They're all sort of building recruitment stuff already, which is great for us. Apart from Ferai, we did have a look at, actually. Fenike is building something, but it is a port. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that at all, because that's going to bring us some money. Then we're going to prioritize based on the richest areas. So, Ayana is the richest city that we do have right now so i am going to put the market in there although it doesn't look like much money guys over time of course that's going to build up then we're going to go to baroya as well now looking at baroya we could go for that but 15 for a 6,000 building is really really not acceptable for us so let's just go for the sewers so that we can upgrade these areas and just bring more trade into the region in general now then we've prioritized the high oh ayana as well yeah that, oh, we did build in ayana sorry uh, but yeah now we've prioritized the high income regions what we're now going to do is prioritize the unhappy regions and try and give them a little bit of happiness so that we can pump those taxes up unfortunately it looks like we don't have the money to go up to the second level of the Temple of Aphrodite in Kikiros. So we're going to leave that for now. So we've prioritized those two. Now we're just going to look for general buildings and go down the list. I mean, if you want to really min-max, you can look through all of your settlements and look for the best economic buildings that are available for you. I mean, we kind of are doing that right now. I'm just having a quick scan of what is available. Remember, guys, as well, like, although markets don't seem that powerful in this version of the mod in terms of money, over time, they're going to give you money. And also, the market is something that you need to build a lot of buildings. So, for example, like the armorer, that sort of thing, you need a market. So it's still good to get because it unlocks other buildings as well. Now, Dasaretta 
polis. Not the greatest of buildings, but we uh, greatest of cities. But we are going to pop that in there because that's probably the best economic building we can afford right now. And then over in Odessa Bochitia, I think we're going to go for that tax income bonus from the Shrine to Dionysus. Anywhere else we can build anything? Probably not right now. Yeah, we've, we've just not got enough cash on hand. But that's fine. Let's end the turn there. I don't think there's anything else we can do. So let's end the turn there, guys. And I will see you after the end turn. And it looks like we had someone come of age. Oh, we had two people. We had Pyros. Yes. Yes, Pyros. So I think Pyros, he's got three command already. He is an Epirote. He's bright, magnetic, and vigorous. Fantastic. He's selfish and pessimistic, unfortunately. He is green, so that will go away with some battles. But I think he is the man to lead Achilos' army. And he's also the man to become our faction heir. Because, of course... Oh, no. He's Helenos' son. Hmm. Let's have a look quickly on here. We currently have Alexander. Oh, Pyrrhos. We... That's a second Pyrrhos. I forgot about them. Another Pyrrhos. But Pyrrhos, this Pyrrhos, shall go up to Dasareta Polis. We've also got these troops in here. Could we beat that? I mean, there's two Phalangites there and a Zistaphoroi. Is that a standard Zistaphoroi? No, it's a Thessalian cavalry. <laughs> hmm. I mean, he's not going to be able to move there. He's going to stop. That's the problem. I feel like we can do this. But then again, I felt like that a couple of times ago. Why can you not get in there now, then? The other unit could. Well, you get there. You're quite a decent little mix of troops. So, Pyrrhos has been used. We also have Ptolemaios as well. Now, Ptolemaios, probably a good idea to get you managing one of these settlements over this region. Pella is still, still dying. I really feel like we need a sewer here. Oh, we don't have a sewer. That is why. Oh, dear. No health in there at all. Not ideal. We've got a new family member. Oh, and we got two new big ports. That should really help with the trade in this region. Yeah, 587. And where was the other one? It was in Oricon as well. Very nice indeed. 1,000 trade in Oricon. Wow. And yeah, a lot of trade with Apollonia Epiros, which there is two trade routes to there apparently, but... Okay, we'll, we'll accept that. That sounds good. <laughs> so where do we want to stick this guy? Honestly, probably not in anything other than Baroya or Ayana. Although we do have a governor in Ayana right now. So let's stick him into... So that's, uh, yeah, Ptolemaios will stick him into Baroya. He's got four management already. Hopefully he doesn't have the plague. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's quite a good little character, too. Three management already. Tedious speaker, though. And counter spy. Oh, no, that's Agathocles we've just moved. Uh, so I guess we'll leave. Oh, no. No, no, no. This guy. There we go. Ptolemaios. He has some anger issues, of course. Sounds like me. Um, lively inferior engineer. Dysfunctional. So he's not a good commander. But a student of humanities, and he has a tutor too. So a pretty darn decent guy, to be fair. And he's going to improve Baroya to no end. But unfortunately, he did bring the plague. Hmm. Well, we are getting the sewers there, so <laughs> that's all we that's all we need to worry about for now. Let's also have a look at what we want to recruit. We are recruiting Ambrakia. What about Fenike? Let's carry on going with more Deuteroi. I know they're not fantastic. We should also now start building the army barracks there because we have level 4 recruitment in Fenike. So army barracks in there straight away. Pharsalos, I believe, has that just built up to level 2? That would be amazing if it has. Let's have a look. No. Oh, no, it just built the next level. So what do we get for level 2? Not much. So I think we do just spend all our money going to level 3 there as well. We are upgrading in a lot of places up to level 3. But we do need to do that as quick as possible. I think I've found in this patch that you just need to be upgrading these places as quickly as possible. Now, what I'm going to do here, they do have rams to retake Cassandre. 
I'm really not very bothered about that right now. What I'm going to do is try and bait them off because with this army, like I say, I don't want to fight both of those armies at the same time because this army has to go all the way back. Oh my god, mouse is gone. All the way back, literally all the way back to Ambrakia to retrain, which is just insane. So instead of that, we are going to go for throne. In fact, we're going to jump on the ship here. We're going to drop them off there, and we're going to siege it down that way. We're going to pop these guys into this port here, and we are... Actually, no, have we got... How much movement have we got? We've got a lot of movement. So let's just pop out here now, so we can see this region, Marina and Imbros. So those are the only regions they really have left, apart from the two they're going to take off us. So that is fantastic for us. Anything we want to train in here? No, we've spent all our money, <laughs> as usual. So I think it's time to go for this siege of Lycnidos. Oh, and there's no one there. Let's auto-resolve that then. Fantastic. I thought they were going to come and help out from behind. Now, we are going to enslave here. I know I've been doing a lot more occupations recently. But uh, every now and then, still better to enslave. Get a bit of population growth in these low fertility regions over here. Not something I plan to do all the time. But something that we can do every now and then, like I say. And we're going to get Pyros into this army very soon. Because Achilles is pretty much expendable at this point. He is... In fact, uh, I'd much prefer to, to do the stone wall there. I wonder where that Paeonian army's gone. That was a pretty big army that's just disappeared. Um, yeah, I have no idea. So anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see what happens. Whether the Antigones will come and siege us down. And whether the Athenians will come and attack us at Tarona, which would be fantastic for us. So let's end the turn there, guys. And unfortunately, these guys are coming to attack with help from Ellis, with a little help from their friends. So we are going to also resolve that. And apparently we did no damage, but oh well. <laughs> And as a retribution, they didn't even sally out at Thermon. That is insane from them. I've no idea why. We are just going to occupy Thermon, though. So that's great. We've also got this battle here. We're going to do that. So they are going to take that area. I wonder where Athens is going to go now, though. Okay, no, they've gone and sieged down that settlement. Fantastic. Splitting up the armies. They're trying to divide and conquer, as we are too. So a glorious result for us. Even though we've lost, we've gained in the long run there, guys. And another suitable husband, a 16-year-old this time. Very good for us. Nice and young. Uh, so he's going to live for a long time. We are going to accept that. And he went into Passaron. Have we got a guy in Larissa? We do do how about Dion because Dion's a pretty rich settlement so let's get him out of Pasaron which is over here somewhere which one is Pasaron god damn it man Pasaron so many names to remember oh all the way over here wow I did not remember that that was one of our homeland provinces but you're gonna go and manage Dion for now you guys are gonna come around and yeah we still do have death stalking the land only Baroya is now affected and this Paeonian spy. So if that Paeonian spy enters one of our cities, they can actually, <laughs> they can actually, uh, you know, give us plague. So that's not ideal. Um, but we also took uh, Thermon last turn. Very good. Without even a fight. I know it was a bit slow doing that, but it was quite good for us. Unfortunately for us now, though, we are a little bit blocked in. Let's have a look at Thermon itself. It's a minor city. It's losing two and a half growth a turn. Why is that? Minus three and a half from buildings. Which buildings are we talking about here that are giving minus population growth? That's very strange. I don't... Uh, which ones give minus? I don't think there are many. Well, just the governor's palace, but where's that extra 1% coming from? I guess... None of these buildings are going to register. We are also... Wait, we're... are we Western Hellenic? Yes, we are. So all of these buildings are buildings that are not for us either. Hmm, well, that's not ideal as well. And unfortunately, Sparta's kind of cock-locking us here. 
Why are you doing that, Sparta? Looks like the Achaeans have made a successful landing. That's good for them. But we need to go and take out Oinadai again. So we are going to leave. How bad is the pu public order? It's, it's not good. <laughs> Let's say that. It's not good. Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus then. Let's have a look at what mercenaries are available. I wonder if we could send someone in. Yeah, potentially a Greek Peltast. Very expensive garrison, but we'll have a look at sending them in next time. We're also going to take those Cretan archers because they are fantastically effective archers. And let's have a look up here. Yes, so we're going to take this. Simply has a general. No deaths at all. We're going to simply occupy Tyrone. It was our settlement before, wasn't it? Let's leave behind those archers. Unfortunate that we have to leave behind archers all the time. But we're going to put that down straight to low. And we are going to go and attack that unit to start with. First of all, though, let's repair this. And let's go for those guys. What else do we have to do? We've got a Kilos up here. That is a draw-out battle. But that is going to be fighting Thessalian cavalry and all that jazz. So let's leave 19 Prodromoi behind. Is that enough? It literally is enough. Oh my god. <laughs> and let's go for Heraclea Lincestius or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> the salt does creep in every now and then. <laughs> Whatever the hell that goddamn place is called, man. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyway, oh, and we also need to remember to bring across Pyrrhos. He's going to be such a better general than the other boys. Um, so, fantastic. For Nike, let's have a look at what we want to build. We are getting a Deuteroy. And in Ambrakia, let's keep on going with the Ambrakio Phalangites. Although, you know, this army is pretty full. And, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, let's go for some of those. And then over here, I would like some garrison troops again. Like, just getting a few garrison boyos, because we've not got garrison troops for a while. Now, uh, Pella has, uh, you know, is, is now fine, which is great for us. So, let's get some more Thurio 4 in there. So, we spent a lot of money on troops again, as usual. We're stuck here, which is great for us. And we are moving. So let's go and kill Captain, whatever the hell, Zagrius. And yeah, they've got some Epibartai, which are a great unit. I do really like them. The Athenian Hoplites are relatively decent too. So let's get into this battle, guys. Shouldn't be too hard. But hopefully we can try and preserve as much of this army as possible. And finally, in this episode, I can put some of the practice of using the Hoplites, the, hoplites, the Phalangites, to better use some of that practice into place, guys. So let's get into the battle. This is a day for the histories. Tales of bravery that will be written in the blood of our foes. Short but sweet, my friend Alexander. What a glorious leader he is. And he shall lead us into a new age of pure glory, my friends. Pure glory. I'm going to swap in the Deuteroy in the middle here. Now, hopefully, if we have a look, that should have swapped them in. So there's a Deuteroy there. Yeah, and Brachiotes. So you can see, by swapping them in, they're going to be mixed in the line rather than just all on one flank. So we have relative equal strength across the group there. We're going to group those boys up. Going to get the Thurioforoi either side in there. Going to get... We don't have any archers anymore, do we? So we're going to get the Athamanians in the back. And, of course, our lovely large cavalry contingent. Lots of alliteration there in the back. Where be you? There you are. On a hill, as usual, enjoying yourselves. Let's run. We don't need to preserve too much energy today. Should be a relatively easy fight. I say that now. Watchers get absolutely swamped by a unit or two, but uh, I'll see you when we get there, guys. Well, they don't have many missile troops, so we're maybe going to try and force them into action with our missile troops ourselves. So I'm trying to get these guys maybe a little bit further forward. 
if we can, to fire into the Prodromoi. And we're going to just march forward with the, uh, with the Phalangites straight through. And let's see what we can do there. Remember, keeping this nice and thick. So we'll go even thicker. And then we can actually get the Hoplites round the flanks properly here too. Don't know what these guys are doing in the back. But, I mean, it's not really a problem for us. So that's fine. We'll get those guys forward. And then the cavalry, we're going to just bring round one flank for now. Trying to stop them, you know, unmaneuvering. Which they tend to do quite a bit when they want to. It's just... You know, get out of the maneuver and start facing your cavalry. So we're going to come forward and then we're just going to march forward with the phalangites straight through. And let's see what we can do here, whether this is going to work a little bit better. There we go. They are charging in. Fantastic for us. You guys face them. You guys face them. You guys keep coming through. And then we're going to get the uh, Thurio Foroi around the back too. And now it's time for the old cavalry. Let's group you guys up. And let's come around this way. There we go. They shouldn't really be able to break through here at all. What I'm thinking is you guys attack there. These Epibartai and everything are just chilling. I don't know what they're doing. But it's good for us right now. If we could get those uh, Prodromoi, that would be amazing. I doubt we'll be able to catch them though. Yep, unfortunately we can't. That Thurio 4 is taking a bit of a battering from the Epibartai. But out of all the units to take a battering... That's the one that we would want to take a battering out of everyone. We got caught up a little bit on the goddamn Akontistai there. So we didn't catch the Prodromoi. But there we go. That's the Prodromoi general getting killed. But it looks like we're going to kill them all pretty relatively easily. Here comes the Epibartai. So we are double sandwiched right now. So what I'm going to try and do is bring one of the Phalangites out that way. You guys fight them. And we need to uh, start chasing... Oh, no, wrong people. Wrong people, my friend. You guys chase them down. You guys chase these guys down. And then the rest of our cavalry. Let's get after those Greek slingers. We're going to try and come behind. That's only a four row. So we'll go for a five row. So we're trying to micro our way through this and improve, you know, everything we are doing, guys. Like I said earlier on. Definitely trying to improve. Trying not to be so salty... And it definitely seems to be working as of now. As of now. So you guys attack them. Uh, and then once we've got all of these guys going, you guys can chase them down. And I think we can probably quite safely break this block here <laughs> with a great charge. Let's, uh, let's just get them set up. Obviously, the wider you put your cavalry guys, often the better the charges. But for now, you know, it's a very small area we're going to be charging. So... You two are going to charge there, and you two are going to charge there. Let's watch this, though. Oh, my God. I pressed the wrong button. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Bang, bang. Straight in the back of them. Oh, and they do not like that, do they? Very nice. Very nice. The cavalry doing very well there. I wish you would actually attack them, you know. Why are you all the way over there? Um, and then cavalry will get you out because they are fighting to the death. And a glorious victory, my friends. A glorious victory against the goddamn Athenians. Well, we ended the battle early anyway. Didn't even need to chase everyone down because we'd already killed enough to fully destroy this army. A glorious victory, my friends. We only lost 181, killed 694. Very nice. And the Phalangites for once... <laughs> that sounds horrible. Uh, no, the Phalangites did well. The Phalangites did well, my friends. They did very well. So we'll see you back on the campaign map. Well, a glorious victory for us there, guys. Now, the question is really here. What do we do? Do we go for Cassandra? Because, again, a siege there is not going to be very good for us. Or do we go for this cheeky little bridge battle there? Are we still at war with the Pionians? We are. So, hmm, not really sure what to do here. I mean, we could just get on a ship and go and blitz them <laughs> and take them out. And that would be their last remaining settlement. I mean, it's not too bad an option. I personally think that we can go... Like, I think we could go a lot faster than them. I think we could probably take out both of those settlements in one go. They didn't look very heavily defended. So, let's come across. Of course, we don't want to lose Alexander. Ah. Oh. You idiots! Oh! No! Well, that was dumb. I should have dropped them off there so they don't get stuck. 
But anyway, they're going to be stuck for, for a, a turn. And we'll take that. And then we want to come onto this island, kill this t teeny little army, and kill Imbros as well. That'd be fantastic. And then we have some nice little trading hubs with the Ptolemies. All that sort of thing, because we have trade agreements with them. And we have trade agreements with Pergamon. Do we have a trade agreement with the Seleucids? We do. So we should get some nice trade from these little areas. And also, if we ever go out into these islands, we will have some glorious trade as well. Um, anything else we want to do? We do want to build, don't we? I think we've done all our recruitment that we can. We have. So, yeah, let's go for some buildings. Pasaron is not building right now. Now, what do we want here? I mean, I could just go for some more happiness. They're going to upgrade very soon. They're only half a percent upgrading, though. Hmm. I mean, we don't need an Odeon. We don't really need a, a public bass. But a public bass will be good for the future for more growth. So let's get in, that in there. And then let's have a look at what else we can potentially get. Oricon, I'm very tempted to go for the Academy here. God, you can see, even with as like even with low taxes, Oricon is, you know, going down. That's how low the fertility is here with 6,000 people. So I think we're going to get the Academy. I, think, I mean, this guy's pretty good. Nine management already, but he can get even better with an Academy. So let's go for that. Not really anything else that's that worth building, you know. I found a lot on... Oh, maybe. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that in Oricon. And I don't think we've got enough money then, so we're going to have to cancel... <gasps> oh! No! Ah! No, I didn't mean to do that! It was half done as well! <laughs> oh dear, a misclick. A misclick. I can't even remember what I'm talking about now. But I was like, oh, in this patch, it does definitely feel like you don't have much to build until you get to larger cities. But it's a real struggle to get to larger cities. So it's a lot slower with the economic buildings, I would say. Which is good because there's a lot more settlements. So, uh, you know, makes perfect sense and balances it very nice. I'm also going to, probably off camera, get this guy going around, talking to people. And let's see what we can do with that. See if we can get any ceasefires, anything like that. But I'll see you after the end turn, guys. Well, Ellis wants a ceasefire. We are absolutely going to accept that. We're also going to try and get a trade agreement with them. And it's not an alliance, apparently. So the Asti have been destroyed. I wonder whether... Well, it's all the way over here. Yeah. So one of the Thracian miners has been killed, unfortunately. Looks like we're also going to be... I mean, we still have Plague in Pella. Hmm... Has it come back? Because it did go away. I mean, do I have... Yeah, Broya and Pella. Okay. Oh, dear. We've also got Civil Disorder in Thermon. I mean, that was to be expected, right? Oh, my God. God damn, Ellis. <laughs> Why are all these fools just constantly in the way? Um, I think we can leave behind at least... Well, let's get maybe some more mercenaries, like some mercenary hoplites. We're going to use them at some point, but for now, let's leave them behind in Thermon. One more turn until that's done, and we're going to have to pop here just to try and make our way through this absolute mess <laughs> that is up there. Damale has now upgraded. So has Tarona. That's actually just a, a, um, a standard building. Let's also get this up to... Now, we'll keep it on low for the growth. And yes, we did get seized down at Lycnidos, but that's fine because we've got a pretty darn decent army now. So I think we're going to go after Heraclea Linkistis. And yes, we're going to take this siege too. There's two generals in there, so I probably will actually do the siege. You can just pop into there for now. So yeah, and Paeonia looks like they are coming down to attack. So we've got plenty to get on with. I just need to pop off for one second, guys. So I will see you in a second when I'm back. Right, guys, I am back. And we have a few things that we need to do. So first of all, let's get rid of these two guys. I don't think it will be too bad to auto-resolve. Yes, no casualties at all. Fantastic. I am going to enslave this one because we need to leave ASAP. And I'm hoping that we can leave behind nothing. Apparently, we cannot. 35%. Not ideal. Honestly, though, if this rebels, I'm assuming it will rebel back to Athens. But uh, 
Didn't we have some garrison troops somewhere? We do have some spare garrison boyos. Let's jump on the ship. Let's not jump on the ship. Uh, is this the ship with the troop in? It is. Let's just try this. Uh, apparently we cannot. So let's drop that troop back off. Should have brought the ships around to do that. Uh, you guys go in there. And we will drop them off next turn. That's absolutely fine. And we are going to come across and do a cheeky draw-out battle over here. So we are going to do that very soon. Let's bring this ship all the way back there for the garrison. I should have brought, actually, both of these guys, the Aphamanians, too. So you guys, if you can get there, go in there for now and then jump in there. Yeah, there we go. That's better. We can actually do that. Any spare garrison troops anywhere else? So you guys got rams yet? No, you have not. I mean, 3040 are troops. <laughs> garrison troops, however, definitely not. Not something that we want to do with those boys. We are recruiting more garrison troops down there. So maybe we can pop across this way with the ships too. I could split the ships, but there's no real... I mean, there's a port there, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, we can just reach that. So we are going to bring one ship that way. And let's go for this draw out battle, my friends. I don't think they have that much. So, uh, I mean, it is Athens at the end of the day. They've got some Athenian hoplites, some Greek hoplites, some Peripoloi, and some slingers, Prodromoi as well. And then in this army, just a tired old man. who, <laughs> Like me. Like me. No, I know. I'm not, I'm not that old. <laughs> right, let's get into the battle, guys. So I think we're going to go and just attack them straight away. It doesn't really matter if we don't take the city this turn, although it would be nice to take it. We are, of course, keeping that fat formation with the phalangites, getting all the way down there. Let's also get these guys not to run. I'm also going to run these guys away. Okay, they can't withdraw, actually. <laughs> well, they're going to stay at the back of the map. I wonder if they will hide... If they are, like, literally just in this tree. <laughs> Hiding behind this tree like Mr. Bean. <laughs> Come on, the boys. And, of course, again, we've got fat formation of the Phalangites. I'm hoping this battle will last long enough, though, so that these guys can actually come in. That would be fantastic for us. They do have Slingers and Peripoloi, so we've got to be wary of that. I should also group you guys together so I can select you very easily. Here we go. Let's keep coming forward, then. I'm going to go even fatter, probably on the old lines. I'm going to bring the Athamanians forward too. They're actually able to fire right now. Very nice. That's lovely. want to kill as much Prodromoi as possible. So we also want to kind of scare these guys off if we can before we come forward again. Let's do that and let's just walk forward with the boys. There we go. Just walk forward, men. Walk forward. I'm going to bring the Thurioforoi around that way and the Athamanians down here and we're going to bring the cavalry in the gap here to cut them off from their help here we go let's see if we can engage them properly down the line like we haven't been able to do for a few old battles so let's keep coming with the phalangites then these guys again they're not very good at flanking so we're going to keep them in a very fat formation there for now but it looks like we have engaged them across the line pretty nicely so let's keep on coming. Looks like they're going to flank us themselves. Actually respect that. I respect that. That is the only option they have at this point in the battle. They really cannot do much else. So we are going to come all the way around there. I know it's a long way to go, but we do have a lot of cavalry. And we are simultaneously going to charge like everyone. You guys get in there too. Looks like an, another charge. Yeah, the Phalangites. When you use them correctly, guys, who would have guessed... <laughs> that they would be a lot better. Right, let's get these guys in the middle there. Let's get the generals. Oh my god, everyone's routing. <laughs> Every fucker is routing. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Still the hoplites stand, though. They still stand, and they're still steady, actually. Good for us. Well, it's not that good for us. But uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said it was good for us. Because <laughs> it's not. We didn't manage to actually charge the Athenian hoplites, though. They are wavering, though, now. Okay, let's get the cavalry out again. Ideally, like I've said before, we want to, uh, you know, um, hold the line here. Hammer and anvil. This is proper hammer and anvil as well against the phalangites, my friends, isn't it? 
Proper. These guys are fighting to the death. That's good for us because, remember, we've got to kill all 85% of these boys. Let's get the Zistafori in there, too. Uh, remember, we've got to be careful with the Zistafori because, of course, they cannot really be... Um, Okay, there. Surely they're going to route now. I mean, the general hasn't died yet, I don't think. I think that's the problem. Okay, they're all routing there. Good. Fantastic. And we've got to try and kill them all. Right, here goes the general and the enemies. They are running away. That's the... Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave behind this 36 unit and this... Actually, no. We're going to keep... They should be faster than the general's bodyguard. So we are going to run with those boys. And the general's bodyguards we're going to leave behind to uh, mop up everyone that is left, which is pretty much no one, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> These guys themselves, the Zistaphori, I think they can do at least kill the Greek hoplite and make our siege battle very nice and easy uh, rather than anything else. So I think that's the best option for us anyway. Um, but I'm just going to chat for a little bit. We're going to go back to the old style, guys. We're going to go back to the old style of, uh, of videos where we keep on going forever. Through the battle. And I was just thinking about this. Has anyone else out there played Spartan Total Warrior? I was thinking of CA games. And this is a CA game that is genuinely insanely good. <laughs> right, we'll hold them and come around the back. They're not going to route, probably. They're still eager. You guys get out. We're going to have to... At least we've held them for a second. So you guys come out. And we're going to charge them from both sides. If we can get around that way. But yeah, Spartan Total Warrior. And I was looking for it on Steam. It's not on Steam, my friends. Which is incredibly sad. Because I really wanted to play that game again. It is an amazing game. So old now. But really, really a fantastic, fantastic game. Kill them. Where are you, Alexandros? Go kill those boys. Here we go. This should break them now. Fully surrounded. Eager. Here we go. They're going to probably turn a little bit. But that should be a... Oh my god. That was a fantastic charge for the boys. That's what we like to see, my friends. That is what we like to see. They're still wavering, though. As a rule, I don't like to leave these guys in combat for very long because they do die very quickly once in combat. But let's go for a little cheeky uh, mini charge. Yes, there we go. And now they're fighting to the death. We should probably let them escape, but we probably won't need to now. We've absolutely crushed them. Zistaforoi to the victory once again. You guys all fight them. And how many is there? Like four and one? Oh, okay. I mean, I don't feel like we lost any men there. Yeah, 10%. Good victory. Good victory, my friends. I'll see you at the end. A glorious victory, my friends. Let's end the battle there. And we lost about 160. Well, exactly 160. And killed a thousand very nice <laughs> indeed yes i think just the speed of the phalangites using them a bit slower trying not to be so aggressive like i normally am uh definitely works so glorious victory my friends i'll see you back on the campaign map and here we are guys we are going to siege down imbros just so that they don't have these islands out here anymore and they can't you know keep invading because they are invading everywhere and it's very very annoying Ellis is now neutral to us, right? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, Kikiros has grown, though. That's fine. Let's get that in there straight away. Let's also check all our recruitment hubs to make sure we are, you know, building recruitment buildings. We are. Ambrakia is getting the armor. Fantastic. I'm also going to get a new diplomat. Someone did comment... That we should, that I should, uh, you know, get rid of my terrible diplomat and get some trade partners. I mean, we do have a lot of trade partners, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but it would be nice to get some, maybe, I mean, there's not really anyone else that borders us that we can trade with. We're trading with Rome, we're trading with the Seleucids in the north and Ptolemies across the islands. We're trading with pretty much everyone down south that we can, can do, that we're not at war with. And a load of other people as well. But I am going to get another diplomat because we have absolutely screwed this guy by getting rejected so many times. He's a liar, undiplomatic, damaged reputation. And I mean, I get you, Arribas. If I was also had my damaged reputation, undiplomatic and liar as a diplomat in my life, I too would become a drunkard, my friend. I too would become a drunkard. 
I don't know whether we can disband this guy. That's that's the problem. Um, like, where where's the disband button? We can't disband him. How about if I press delete directly? Delete! <laughs> no. He must go on. The glorious Aribas. He lives in contentment and drunkenness right now. So let's also do some buildings then. Um, yeah, we're going back for Oinadai. 65% there. That's going to be better soon. Oh, Lucas is rioting. Let's build those back up. Nothing we can actually do about that for now. Part of that will be devastation, especially with these goddamn Elian armies. Ellis is pretty darn big right now. So once we've got rid of the Aetolian League, they are probably the next target down south. Get rid of those fools. Uh, we are building in there. Let's have a look at some of our homeland for once. We've not had a look at that for a little while. I tend to like to build in areas above all else. Let's go for those public baths because they are going to be fantastic for population growth in that area. And then let's have a look at some of these richer areas like Ayana over here. You are building. How about over this way? Let's build the sewers and then let's end the turn, guys. So the Pionians did come back and siege us down. Now, the good thing about that is we have found that we can kind of just... Uh, well, we'll also resolve that. 24 dead. No problem whatsoever. Let's also enslave Imbros as well. Get that down to low. They were, they are rioting here. I mean, we don't need these barracks. Like, we aren't going to use them ever. So we might as well destroy them for now. That's... Has that brought it up? I didn't really pay enough attention there. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, how can uh, can these guys... Where can these guys get through? They can actually just get through there. So hopefully they'll have enough movement to get all the way to one of the islands at least. Oh, come on. Really? Really? You bastards. You bastards. Right, let's drop these guys off. Let's get the ship back there. Let's destroy this as well and those recruitment buildings. We definitely don't need them ever going to use those boys. So let's get rid of all of those. Let's also repair. That's brought us 30,000 gold. Pretty nice, I've got to say. This army's not fully, fully ready. Ah, god damn it. I brought the Athamanians, but we're going back. And if I put the Athamanians on, they won't have any movement anymore. <laughs> Oh, well. Um, well, it looks like we can actually get to that Gre uh, that Athenian army. That's fantastic for us. Let's pop those in there for now. And I'm going to send this ship back to... I mean, could they get to the other island for now? No, not, not quite. But we'll leave them on there for now. Bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Those guys as well will go there. What do we have? We've got rioting in Marina. Yep, that makes sense. And lots of settlements being... Ah, we forgot. What? Why did we? Oh. What? Did I cancel? I must have canceled that siege. Oh, no. Oh, well. Well, that allows us to at least come back and do some damage. First battle for Pyros. A glorious name for a glorious commander. We've got loads of cash now. First things first, though. Let's get, <laughs> get the hell out of Dodge from all of these messy armies over here and uh, try to take that back. I really want to get to now Pactos, but I don't know how we're ever going to do that. Ellis is just chilling. Um, and so is Sparta. And so is Athens. Great. Thank you guys for completely fucking up this whole region. I love it. I really respect that. <laughs> Lots of rioting going on down here. That's to be expected. Let's just go for the Shrine to Aphrodite straight away as well. Uh, Lucas is still incredibly upset. Hmm. I mean, they've got a pretty decent garrison unit there. I wonder whether we want to get a slightly bigger one, but everywhere is pretty upset as well. Not ideal for us. Um, so, yeah, we're going to pop back here. He does take the fight, and then that's probably because he's got some pretty darn good phalangites. Uh, I believe this is pronounced in Greek halkospides as well, guys. I've seen that on a comment. I'll try remember that, but it's not guaranteed, my friends. I'm sorry. Uh, and we've got this battle to do too. 
So let's go with this battle first. Should again be a pretty easy one. They've got no infantry. So we're just going to overwhelm them with infantry and cavalry as usual. This one though I do really, really need to preserve the strength of our troops here because there's nowhere we can actually retrain these guys and again we are still infected by plague and pella and getting all of these goddamn sieges is not gonna help so i think here as well let's go for public baths right away i mean i would like sewers but we're under siege so that's not going to make a difference so let's go for this battle though guys and alexander will continue his glorious glorious march Oh, glory. Got a nice little hill there. Yes, Alexander, we have heard you before. You are a good general for your speeches. Very likely they're going to be up here. I don't know why they would go down in the basin. So we're going to keep nice thick formation again. Even thicker this time. And we're going to keep these two together on this flank. Again, let's group the phalangitios together. Let's get these guys in there. And let's bring the Zistaforoi, which is also pronounced like not like Zistaforoi. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, in terms of pronunciation, guys, I am going to... I, I can't even see them. So they probably are down there then. Let's come forward. These guys off phalanx mode and run. But yeah, in terms of pronunciation, guys, I will try. But, you know, if I try and pronounce everything right there's just no way i'm gonna succeed so i will try but it, it is a lot easier for me to just say it how it's spelt in uh in english <laughs> i know that's supreme laziness <laughs> but when, when i'm thinking about everything else as well it's pretty darn difficult to think about that too especially when i actually know pretty much nothing about ancient greek i did do in my first year of uh of secondary school i did do like the greek alphabet and stuff but that's quickly made way for latin uh which i despised so uh <laughs> yeah uh not great with the uh, the old classical languages i've got to say here we go guys we're right in the action now get the phalanxes down the athamanians are unfortunately going to take a bit of a charge from some zistophori but they are a very good unit so, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be fine with them there. I'm not going to lie. And we've got another Athamanian on the way, too. Let's see if we can get rid of that Prodromoi. These guys can come around this way. What is this unit in here? Why are you preserving this Epibartai unit? I have no idea. Makes zero sense to me, AI. But we're just going to keep coming forward with those units. These guys can get there. You guys can get there, too. And we have the Thurio Foroi can come all the way around this way. I'm not bothered about the Prodromoi. Let's just get into whatever this is. This blob over here. Are these guys withdrawing? God damn, they're trying to escape. You guys get there. What's happened to this poor unit? How did you get so ruined there? Honestly, I have no idea. These guys keep coming forward. Keep coming forward. Keep coming forward. You guys get in there. You guys get in there. And yes, we're going up this way. There are Epibartai in here, right? But they are wavering already. I do want to preserve, of course, all of these cavalry units for the Pionians. Because, yeah, Pionians are pretty close. It's a bit messy right now, not going to lie. Uh, but there goes the Epibartai. Let's go straight into those guys. One of the Zista 4. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Who is this? Oh, it's the Prodromoi. It's the Prodromoi. Wow, well, you're just going to have to die. <laughs> Unfortunately for us. Uh, well, unfortunate for you, quite good for us, because you have held the Prodromoi for a little while. Are you withdrawing, Prodromoi? You are. Looks like they're all going to start withdrawing now, so let's get these two units into there. And anyone else? Uh, not too many. Let's go with these guys over this way. So, yeah, just keep on uh, chasing them down. There we go. One of you can get them. One of you can get them. You guys, one of you can get them, and one of you can get them. There we go. That should be everyone covered, apart from all these guys up here, of course. But yeah, Epilectoi are going to take a little bit of a beating first before they run away. But a glorious, a glorious victory nonetheless. 
these guys, these poor guys did take an absolute battering. I don't know how. They were in a pretty fat formation and they still died quite a bit. But oh well. You guys just go. Just go. What are you waiting for? Why are you like sat back so much? Chase them down. We want to kill them all. God damn it, man. <laughs> Come on. Well, a glorious victory, my friends. And let's end it there. Gods be praised. Not quite as good as the previous one, but still a pretty darn good result in the end. So let's get back on that campaign map. And as expected, Alexander has no more movement points, but we are going to move him here. I'm not going to engage the Pionians because what we've seen so far is that if we get an army pretty much next to them, they do tend to run away. So we are going to do that and see whether they'll run away. Let's uh, let's come towards the end of the episode then, guys. And let's go for Captain Xenokratis uh, over here with Pyros, which I think is his first battle. He's the ripe old age of 16. 16, yes. And uh, yeah, 16. And hopefully the Salian cavalry is not going to be enough for him. I'm hoping, let's just have a look at his morale. I, I believe it's going to be a minus one because he's green. It's minus two. Well, that could prove rather problematic. So we're going to have to keep all our troops very clumped up and together and see what we can do. So let's get into the battle, guys. Uh, I did not realize that this was a bridge battle. Maybe I was just not paying very much attention. Um... Even this isn't a crossing. I don't think there's any... Unless that's a crossing? No. Is it? I mean, it's got the got the trees there. The vegetation. It's really, really hard to tell. Especially in this snow. Um, but... <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I'm hoping they'll come across the, uh, the old river. Because we don't really have any missile troops... I don't think they do either, but at least it's a, a relatively small river. Unlike last time where we just stood there, you know, doing nothing. Um, so what we're going to do, we'll get the 304 right here for now, just in case. And what cavalry do we have? We've got Prodromoy, they can go there. General's bodyguard can stay here for now. And let's see what happens. Where, where are they? Wait, is this a is this a crossing? Go? N no, you have to go across the river. Um, well, what I'm hoping to do, let's of course we're going to hope to force them across, aren't we? So I will wait here and see whether we can do that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see, let's see, let's try. Well, I've tried baiting these uh, Celtic skirmishes across. And they have broken those Illyrians, so. I'm hoping if we just, like, set up here and just fire some javies, <laughs> they will follow us across once we route. So, uh, obviously, these guys are going to route. Um, and they are mercenaries, so it's good to get rid of some of their numbers. So, let's go do that. Unfortunately, our archers are just not quite good enough to fire to where they set up themselves. They are standing back from the bridge, though. I'm just worried if we do start coming across, they will come forward. They don't really have any missile troops, but, of course... You know, we want to take the bridge battle if we can. If not, I think this is one that we can, you know, force our way across the bridge without too much of a worry. So let's see what they do. Well, here we go then, crossing the river to try and push them back. I'm very worried about the Thessalian cavalry. They could do some serious damage to us right now. So we're going to bring these guys as far forward as possible uh, being sensible. I'm also running them. I know it's making them very disorganized, but now they are ready to go. Let's get the phalanx down and we can actually start to fight this battle. This may actually be good for us in the long run because it will allow us to, of course, uh, do a bit more damage to them in the long run. Uh, we've got these guys over here. Don't think we'll need them. I will bring the Prodromoy over when we start routing the boys. But for now, we're going to stay here and take the fight against the Halkaspides. Not the Chalkaspides, the Halkaspides. And uh, we're going to come forward here as well. Looks like they want to leave this poor unit uh, stranded, which I don't mind. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If, I, I, if they want to leave their Thessalian cavalry unprotected, that's fantastic for us too. Don't fire at them. Fire at the goddamn Thessalian cavalry, my friends. 
Also, don't charge them. That would be the uh, the thing to do. So, fire away, guys. Fire away. Fire and wave, guys. Fire and wave. God, the Thessalian cavalry. Backspace, everyone. Backspace. Now, fire again. And it's going to take a little bit of time to get that right. But the Thur they have 304. I thought they just had uh, Halkaspides. But anyway, it doesn't really matter too much to us. As long as we get all those missiles off. The poor Thessalian cavalry are going to get battered here. Let's bring these guys through then as well. You guys can enjoy that. That's no problem. Get around them. Okay, there goes the, Thess the Thessalians. Absolutely ruining that poor 304. Right? You guys engage there. And then we'll bring these hoplites through too. Oh my god. Look at that. Just instantly broken, my friends. Instantly broken. That's not what we want to see or like to see. But it does happen, unfortunately, to us. <laughs> uh, so let's go through this way. God damn 304. But there goes their general, at least. All of those javelins really did help. So there we go. He's dead. So hopefully the uh, the old uh, Halkaspides will die. They only have a, uh, a captain. So that's a lot better for us. What are the Prodromoi doing? Get across this way, my guys. And uh, that's our guys routing. Any of their guys routing that we can do anything about? Not really. And we'll probably kill them all anyway. You guys get them. This unit is dead now. Fantastic. Well, the Prodromoi can uh, go after them. No problem. Uh, you guys should let them live. Get out of there. And yeah, pretty nice little bridge push, I've got to say. I don't know why they just stood there and did nothing. Um, but yeah, there's not much <laughs> we can do about that, is there? Uh, we've just got to accept it. So there we go with the Prodromoi. Where's the other Prodromoi? You guys go after them, and then we'll kill this unit. A glorious little bridge battle, my friends. Look at these guys go. Look at them go. Come on, guys. Get to them. They just stand here. Come on, guys. You <laughs> chase after them. They're literally just in phalanx formation <laughs> doing fuck all. Come on, guys. <laughs> They're just chasing the, uh, chasing the general, so I wonder if I go this way. They'll chase them around that way. Come on, guys. I know you're broken up, but... Oh, now they're chasing them with, by running. Poor Chalka Speedes lost in the world. Nothing for them to do. So, yeah, let's all charge. Let's fully surround these boys. This time, let's not try... Let's try not to let them get away, shall we? Let's fully surround them. Bring the general this way, too. I did charge in the generals to get a little bit of experience, but unfortunately, Pyros didn't gain any experience from that. Right, let's get in there now. Gonna be hard to get through that. You guys push through this way. Oh, wrong button. You guys push, please, push. So that we actually go, like, into the back of them there and actually fight them. There we go. Fantastic. And a glorious victory, my friends. Well, a glorious little river push. Fantastic. Victory and honor indeed, my friends, indeed. What do they have here? More Thessalians, more Macedonians, and instantly, isn't it a lot better with old Pyrrhos over here? Still got minus two. Is he still green? No, he's blooded now, which is good. Also, this army is rationing. Ah, dearie me. Keep a stiff upper lip quite a few times and have got sick of it. This can occur when under siege, campaigning out of season, or when away from home. I mean, we're in home territory. It's just winter, isn't it? So, surely though, with captains, they should have even less morale than us. So, I guess it's fine. I don't really know. Um, oh my god. Yeah, low. Put that on low. That's not a happy place. Let's go for this battle then. And hopefully we can take this place in one turn. Let's see, my friends. Let's see. We've got to kill Aristoteles and some more Halkaspides, as well as some more Thessalian cavalry and Macedonian hoplites. This should not be too much of a worry. Especially before breakfast! Yes! Uh, right. Let's go. And we've got some... We've got our own boys here. Going to keep them nice and fat. 304 again, are kind of their own little flanky old force there. We've got these boys in here too. Uh, Generales. Let's get those boys there. And then the missile men. I'm just going to charge these boys in the front just to do whatever the fuck they want, really. I don't care about them. Um, yeah, that's that's probably why they got minus two morale, these boys, isn't it? Um, 
Where be the old army? If they're hiding in the middle of these trees, I will be eternally <laughs> unimpressed. And they were. Here we go then, guys. We've got these boys out the front ready to fire. They have another unit of Hoplites and some Thessalians somewhere. Uh, where they are, though, I have no idea. We're going to keep these guys in a nice fat formation because they are quite weak now. And we're going to bring these boys around that way. Prodromoy, probably worth just sending you to go and deal with this. Prodromoy, can you get through there? Apparently you can't. So let's go all the way over that way. There is both of their Macedonian hoplites. Where's the Thessalians? Where be... Oh, there's the cavalry. Go, 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 go. Fire, 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 my friends. Prodromoy, get out the way. Prodromoy, get out the way. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Well, hopefully this will allow our guys to, uh, you know, fire at them before they charge. Where is me general? He's over there. Right, you guys, I need to concentrate on you for a second. Get up there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to take too much damage against the, the Thessalians because they've just moshed them in melee. Remember, we've got to kill all of those Chalcospedes as well. Halcospedes as well. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my, uh, my archers out this way too. There goes the Thessalians. Don't mind about that at, at all. So, you, Proger, you, 304, right, let's get you around that way. And let's uh, fully surround these boys. Let's also come down this way. You guys should be on runaway. <laughs> there goes the Thessalian general. Oh, my God. The units just look so good, don't they? <laughs> wow. I love to see that. I don't want you firing javis. I want you just to charge in because I want to save the javis for the Halkaspides, which are over here. So, I'm going to... I can't, I can't press on them. Apparently, we don't know that they exist. <laughs> I can't also get in this, this forest. Oh, they're still out of the map. That's why. Wow, I did not realize that. Um, I do want some cavalry to chase down these boys. Both of these units are fighting to the death now, though. We should probably let them escape. So, let's do that. And let's go after this general. These Prodromoi, they can come back and chase down the enemy. Are you running away? You are, so let's go after them. The poor Chalcospedes are just about to enter the battlefield. <laughs> uh, what? Go on, Prodromoi. Save the day for us once again. Now, as much as I, you know, don't like Missile Cav, the Prodromoi have basically saved our campaign <laughs> in, this, in this thing. So I am going to put respect on their name. Cheap cav that you can do lots of things with when you need it and chase down a lot of enemies. Not too bad in the end. Not too bad in the old end. So, uh, yeah, let's go. I mean, the Chalka Speeders are still not in the battle, so I'm not going to end the battle because surely they're not just going to come in and run away. I don't know. I don't know, though. I kind of want to just charge them just to see. Where is the battle map line? It's here. It's like right on the camera here. I can't go any further left. So, are they just going to withdraw straight away? Let's find out. Who knows on... I'm trying to think of a game show name. <laughs> Chalka Speeders or not? Withdrawing. Withdrawing. No, you're not, my friends. No, you're not. I mean, where were they going to withdraw anyway? Surely they would just withdraw straight behind them. Well, that was awful, but at least it's brought them into the fight. So, uh, there we go. Archers, let's bring you over here. And what we need is these guys, ideally. Where are you going now? Oh, you're not withdrawing anymore. That's what we like to see. So let's keep baiting these guys. Because if they withdraw, they are goners. They are gone forever. So let's do that. And I will see you in a second, guys. And there they go, withdrawing again. So we are going to uh, charge once again. I'm hoping we get there. I mean, the, the, the edge of the map's right here. So I feel like we will do. But there we go. Not the greatest of charges, but quick before they put the phalanx down. Let's get out again. Mainly the Prodromoi that are taking the losses here because they are the first into the charge itself. Let's come over this way quick. What I want to do ideally is get a unit right behind them. In, in, in fact, maybe two units right behind them so that we can, uh, you know, stop them withdrawing completely. Let's do that. 
Um, let's get there if we can. Also, it's going to be a lot better for firing the old missiles. So let's come over this way. There we go. Get in there, my friends. I know you're going to be tired, but uh, there they go, withdrawing again. Don't think that's going to be possible for you this time, mate. <laughs> Don't think that's going to be possible for you this time. Let's... Uh, okay, no, they're running. They're running. Okay, they stopped withdrawing now. You guys just get there, ready to fire your missiles. You guys, too, keep firing. I want all of those missiles fired, my friends. All of them fired. There we go. Are you going to fire or not? That would be nice. There we go. A few missiles anyway, at least. There we go. And let's surround these boys utterly and destroy them. Here we are as Pyrrhus watches on on the destruction of another army. And he can be proud that he has pretty much turned around this trash army that was getting ruined before and made them into something that's a little bit better. I mean, it's not great, but a little bit better. So well done, Pyrrhus. Well done. So we did let that final unit fight to the death, of course, so that we could fully kill it. Fantastic victory, my friends. Glorious. Another settlement is ours. Victory and honor, Pyrrhus. Exactly. Let's get into his Skarna. Let's also just occupy this place because it's only a large town. Shouldn't be too upset with us. Let's destroy that building. I'm going to keep the recruitment buildings. Mm, no, I'm not. I I'm not going to recruit here, am I? Let's be honest, it's an Illyrian settlement as well. Not really that bothered by the AOR that Illyria has to offer. Like these guys, Illyrian infantry and Illyrian slingers. Not really excellent, are they? Uh, they do have Illyrian light cav, which are trash. So uh, yeah, <laughs> really not bothered by the AOR here. So we're not going to recruit here. Pretty much nothing in this settlement at all. What we're going to do, we're going to leave behind maybe... I don't want to leave behind the four mercenary Celts. <laughs> Those guys who ran so long ago. And we're going to go, oh dear. I was convinced we'd be able to get onto Stimbara there. What I'm going to, oh, I was going to say, I'm going to recruit mercenaries in case of this unit. I feel like once we've taken Stimbara and Heraclea Lingkestis, we can kind of surprise the Pionians in the north here by coming up through this way, through the mountain passes. That, uh, yeah, not expected to go through. And there's not really any... You can go through that way, you can go through that way, and you can go through that way. So, quite good defensible positions, really, as well. Now, I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. But I am going to do a little bit of, of course, recruiting some more. Uh, recruiting in there. Oh, we got our new diplomat, too, didn't we? Uh, where did we get him? I think we got him in Fenike. Yes, we did. And he's got two influence. Glorious. What a glorious man. Who are you? The Boetians. Well, talk to the Boetians, my friend. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do a bit of recruiting in Fenike. I think we'll just go for... I mean, the Thurio Foroi have been very, very useful, I've got to say. It pains me to do that with the Deuteroi, but we'll go for Thurio Foroi instead then. We'll also get some Thurio Foroi over here. More garrison troops over in Ferai. Same thing can be said for Par uh, Larissa, sorry, should I say. And can we recruit here? Not really. Uh, Pella, of course, is under siege, and we can't do anything about Oinadai. There is mercenaries down here, actually. Very nice. Nice uh, Peloponnesian hoplites, which are very good, and Cretan hoplites, which are also good. But the Peloponnesian hoplites, they are a beastly unit. So it would be nice to see those guys do well. Where did we construct this turn? Larissa, we got level 3. Fantastic. So, level 3 allows us to get Thessalian cavalry, but we need third level um, stables. So, let's start going down that route there, definitely. Anywhere else? Pella, we got level 3 too, but we are under siege and we're building the sewers so that we <laughs> don't die anymore. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have, you know, repaired those buildings. Lucas got the uh, got the sewers, but that has really not helped it at all. I don't know why they're so upset. Hmm. I mean, there's only like three or four buildings that are not their culture. This one is 20% happiness as well, and they're still upset. Well, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that one for now. 
Thessalonica, let's keep on building up Thessalonica. I think in Thessalonica we want to go for an academy to get some nice juicy generals. Dion. Hmm, Dion. Dion could be a nice little uh, economic hub because it does trade gold with these two regions. Does it not? Really? It trades a lot though, <laughs> even if it doesn't trade the gold. I'm surprised it doesn't trade with Baroya. Baroya is not trading. Ah, yeah, it's because of the plague. So, uh, yeah, let's build up something economic here if we can. Potentially, I mean, population growth is always good. Let's let's just take that for now. And we'll save that 2,500 to build somewhere else. But uh, I, think that's a, I think that's a good episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.